Welcome back to my personal channel where I do some collecting, I do some dancing, I do a bunch of stuff on this channel. Today we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen booster packs of Shining Legends. Shining Legends and Hidden Fates are my top two favorite booster packs to open because Shining Mew is just so dang beautiful, I can't help it. But before we get into those packs, if you guys enjoy this type of content of collecting Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Z, any of that stuff, subscribe to the channel because I try to upload as much as I possibly can, whether it be for dancing or any of that stuff, and hit the notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload those kinds of content. As well as, let's try to get this video to 10 likes. The goal we're going with this Shining Legends pack is, if you don't know already, and this is your first time on the channel, we're trying to build the biggest, the most awesomest Mewtwo and Mew collection of all time. I'm also opening daily Dollar Tree packs of Short and, Sh Short and Shield, Sword and Shield on my TikTok uh, page. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and organize... The Mews and, uh, to be last, and Mewtwo packs to be one of the last ones we open, just because I am searching for those, and you know we gotta get them two in the collection. And then everything else is going to be in the front. But now we have our Mew and Mewtwo booster packs in the back. So, let's go ahead and get things started, because this is going to be massively, incredibly, most amazingly awesome. We're just going to try to pull as many Mewtwo and Mews as possible. So, oh man. So today I'm going to go ahead and put the um, code cards to the side. But if you guys would like to claim one, please let me know in the comment section below. And I will be more than happy to probably send you guys one on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. Everything that you can do to find me is literally Rocky UTX. Very, very easy way to finding me and finding me on anything like that. Just let me know what, pa what code card you want and I will give it to you. For the Shining Legends packs today, we have How, Go Lurk. Well, let me adjust this a little bit. Let me get in there. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Anyways, we are going to see how many we can pull. We're just really, really, really needing to pull as many. Uh, Mewtwo's and Mews as possible today. Let's let's have good luck that we pull at least one Mew and one Mewtwo. I don't want to go too big on my hopes because you never know what you can pull out of these packs. So we've got a reverse Larvesta and oh 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 we have a Hollow Latios. Okay, not too shabby, not too shabby. I'll take it. I definitely will take it. That's not too bad. Good little starter. Get the get the emotions flowing. And all right. Whew. All right, all right. But yeah, just just know that I will be giving these packs away on my or uh, not the packs, but the code cards away on my Instagram page. One, two, three. Four. I almost forgot the card trick. I don't know how, but I did. But I did. I can't wait to add a face camera because I had it before. Maybe I'll add it again. It's just the camera on my phone doesn't record in the same frame rates as the camera, my DSLR. So that's what's kind of held me back from using the face camera, but I do want you guys to see my reaction because there's only so much I can do with my hands. And if we pull some fire that I sell on my eBay account, you'll know that I take ultimately really good care of it because I have my gloves on. And we have a, a hollow, reverse hollow energy and Verizion, Verizion, hollow. Verizion. Not too bad. I really like the color and the shine on this electric energy right here. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh, actually, you know what? I need to show that you guys that I am opening these packs on the cam. But 
tow car. It's sliding underneath the screen there. All right down to the ground. One, two, three, four. Whew. Starting off with psychic energy. We have energy retrieval. Oh, also the, the table here is definitely um, fully sanitized, so it is completely clean. Switch. Shroomish. Minin. Quillfish. Zorua. Plus. Plusel. Plus. 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 That's what it is. We have, I think... We have a reverse mana fee and uh oh uh oh uh oh oh <laughs> we have a shining jirachi oh my goodness first time pulling this one I'm pretty sure oh my goodness look at the shine on the shining right here I like the pattern too the pattern is like with the shinies has this like embroidering feel to it and I, the cool about it is like I don't even have to physically touch it I can touch it through the gloves which gets me so excited because it's like yo that's a shining <laughs> if you know what I mean if you know what I mean I got these packs from the pin collection because they are going to be going out of uh, stock in stores very soon if they're not already because uh, right now I got them on clearance at Walmart. So you make sure you guys want to go pick them up as soon as possible. I'm going to be picking up more boxes that I do not open. That I will open like 10 years from now maybe. Or even sell them in 10 years. Because the values of these shining packs are incredibly going to... Like they will definitely be going up. Not incredibly. I don't know where I was going to go with that. But they're definitely going to go up in value. Because I mean come on. You got shining Mew. You have Shiny Mewtwo in this pack. It's just a lot of goodness. Look, we got the regular Torkoal. We have the reverse Torkoal. Does this give me... Will this give me a full art Torkoal? Let's find out. I don't think so. But we have a hollow Reshiram. I'll take that. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. I'll take it. We have five more of these other packs that are not the... You and you too. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the pace a little bit more for time's sake. But still no shining Mew or Mewtwo yet. But we are on the roll on the right path to maybe getting it. Sophocles. Feraligator. I'm also organizing my Pokemon collection now too to be in the proper um sets. Like, Sword and Shields goes with Sword and Shield, Hidden Fates goes with Hidden Fates, and all that good fun stuff. Purloin. Da -da 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 -da. Reverse Verizian. Is that it? That is... No, it's not. Yvelta? I think that is the first time I pulled this one. Yvelta? Yvelta? Oh, whoa, that looks cool. Okay, I'll take it. I don't see too many of these, at least... From what I've seen, I have not seen too many pulls on that. So, that's pretty neat. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mm -mm -mm. These packs are so thick. they thick, boys. They are thick, boys. Slide the code card down there. Alright, alright. One, two, three, four... To the front and out the door. But what do you guys cherish the most? Because I know everybody cherishes something different. Like, of course, Charizard is the top notch you're going to want to go for in a lot of these packs. But, like, what is your favorite? Like, mine's Mewtwo and Mew. Like, that's just, that's really what I'm going for. That's really what I want to build a collection on. The rest, I don't mind selling or asking to sell that for them. Like, I won't be hurt if they go away. Of course, one day I definitely would like to ho ho own an original first edition Charizard. One day that'll happen in the far future. Possibly, depending. We'll see. We have a, re a full hollow, a reverse hollow energy. Oh! Oh, yes! Yes!
Yes, 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 yes. All right. We have Mewtwo GX. Like I said, guys, this is amazing. I mean, come on. Look at the purple. Look at the GX. It is a Mewtwo. We have our first Mewtwo of today's video. Hopefully, we can get a second one. And hopefully, we get more. This is, I believe, my second Mewtwo GX. Oh, my gosh. This collection is coming together. We are growing this Mewtwo collection and Mew collection. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. I will get these graded eventually, but right now, they're going to be in a penny sleeve top loader in my um, little tin box of... Of <laughs> I can't Woo tin box of uh my Mewtwo and Mew collection. Oh my gosh, I can't I can't contain my excitement right now. That was incredible. Can we pull more? See, this is what I'm saying, like because everyone values something completely different. Um like what do you guys value more? You know, like some people like Eevee, some people love Charizard, some people don't mind Charizard, some people love Pikachu. You know, all that good fun stuff. It's, uh, it's just different for everybody. Like, Mewtwo and Mew are my go-to. They're the goats of the whole series to me. But that's just my opinion. That's the way I feel. I've always enjoyed them since the Pokemon movie. Um, so, we're also going to collect as many ancient Mews as possible as well. I'm going to get into, like, a little bit more details on that. Um, that's why, uh, on TikTok, you'll know first thing on TikTok... Because I've got an ancient Mew. You guys are going to know now at the time of this video. It's probably already been put on my TikTok. But I have ancient Mew on the way. It's on the way. In my collection. I've got two of them. So I'm really, really excited to add those to my collection. And I definitely want to order more. And just continue to grow that as much as possible. Because I feel like the ancient Mew is definitely going to go up in value in the next 10 years dramatically. So I want to collect as many as I possibly can in the highest PSA grading as possible and in loose leaf as well so I can get them PSA graded myself. We have a reverse hollow Bulbasaur and a hollow Manaphy. Ooh. Yeah, we need to, we need to, we need to take it up a notch. We need to take it up a notch because, uh, we still have a whole, like, six booster packs to go through. We're only halfway right now. Ooh, I can't contain the excitement, guys. It's just already there. We pulled a Mewtwo GX. Like, I can't. Oh, we got Scrafty, then Scraggy. Torcat, and then. Okay. But uh, another thing is, too, my kids love Pokemon as well now. So they really will appreciate this later in life. I may or may not hand my collection down to my, my kids when I get older. When I get older, I'm already older. And we get another Shining Jirachi. Okay. Two of those. That's giving me some good vibes for some more Mewtwo GXs. But yeah, I may give them my collection. I'm currently building my son's collection, which is separately in packs that he wants for himself. So once he gets a little bit older, we'll get to, into more pack openings for just his collection where I give it to him. Later, I give him the commons, the ones he can kind of just mess with and, and, and stuff like that now. Because he is only three years old and he can't really understand the value of taking care of stuff yet. But I want to get him one set to open and one set to save for later in life. Where either he can open it himself or he can just sell it as is. That is the ultimate goal because I want to give my kids uh, just a future where, you know, that is showcases importance. Because I wish... I would have had uh, saved up some booster boxes from when I was a kid instead of opening up some packs, which, I mean, of course, it's kind of hard to do because I'm a kid, but, oh, yes, I'll take that, but it's, <laughs> I know that was really weird, but I'll, I'll definitely do that. We're getting into the Mew and Mewtwo packs. Wish me luck, guys. We're building, we're building this collection, uh, but uh, what was I going to say? Because I never got, I was never able to, to do that. My my dad was in the military, so uh, he was really gone a lot of the times, and he couldn't really teach me the value. Like he would say it every once in a while, but he couldn't really do it too often because it was just difficult to kind of build that structure up, if I could say, when he's not in the picture twenty four seven due to work. 
and it's understandable. It happens. It's part of life. You know, it's just, it is what it is. But just imagine if he would have saved a booster box, even if it wasn't for me, if it was his own collection right now, if he were to sell it at whatever price he wanted to, he could sell it for however much he wanted. I mean, given, you know, how much those box sets go for, someone will buy it. Super scoop up and -na 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 -na. <gasps> another hollow Yvelta. Ye Yvelta. It's either Yvelta or Yvelta. I'm sorry if I'm botching the name, guys. It's you know, like I said, the OG stuff is the main ones I know, and I feel terrible for, for mispronouncing these names. It really irritates me, but I only have so much time in a day, given that I do daily gaming content, and I plan to challenge myself even harder in the next year to do even more stuff. For you guys because I want to do I haven't made a decision whether I want to post this on TikTok but I want to post all the channels that I kind of do and I'm interested in because once I go full time I'm going to go full time like full blown content creation because content creation is something I absolutely love doing and I have been doing it for 10 years um, this channel was definitely specifically only for dancing but I've expanded on into doing my collecting again um, and doing some more getting back into dancing as well but it's just I have a lot of goals set in mind. I don't have a time frame because, as Gary Fee says, you set a time frame, you set uh, limitations to what you're able to achieve. I've got a full lifetime to achieve my goals, so I am not worried as long as you know I'm doing my best that I can. It'll come eventually. I mean, I never thought that my gaming channel would take off as fast and as good as it has been. So I'm really, really appreciative and happy about all my supporters on all my channels, whether you, it's my channels have one subscriber, two subscribers, whatever it is. I'm so appreciative that you guys are taking the time out of your day to support me and doing everything that I love to do. And it's just one step closer in me being able to be full time at home with my kids and being able to design and create my own schedule and do my own type of content creation consistently and always, always. I am just so obsessed with content creation. I have been and I always will be. Something that I have lacked in the most is vlogs because vlogs is a very difficult thing to do because I really have to like be attentive to a lot of details in those videos. So it's something I love doing because your memory can only go so far and videos last forever. You know, as long as YouTube is around. Oh, 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 Ente GX, yeah. That's a surprise hit right there. If you guys want this, it's first come, first serve right now. Because I already have an Entei. But yeah, it only goes back straight straight back into the conversation about that. I was like getting real serious and then like I got excited and then back to being serious again. But it's like your memory can only go so far. If you have pictures, you know, you have pictures that remind you of what you felt compared to videos where you remember everything that you saw that day or at that moment. You know, it's just one of those incredible things that YouTube has provided everybody is that capability of doing it. You are literally documenting your entire life for whatever reason, however much you want. You can be to the point to where, it, you know, share what you want to share. You know, it's just be yourself. This is what YouTube is about is being yourself and not having to worry about anything. And that's what I absolutely love and appreciate. I can do all this stuff and do it every single day, regardless of how many views I get, likes, dislikes, all that stuff. It's just something that is, you know, opens the door for communication. And, you know, there's a lot of other people out there that love doing the same thing and can be there with you with your growth through vlogs or the rough times or the best times through like the times going on right now with this whole everything going on in the world. Ooh, we have a hollow Raikou. Raikou. But, uh, you know, it's just the beauty of YouTube and content creation has always been something that I absolutely have loved and will always love. And I will do it until the day I die. Putting it straight forward with that right there. And also, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you guys want to see it? A video where I discuss about how much money I make on my gaming channel as a mobile gamer. I would love to do that for you guys. That's something I either have already on the channel or want to do. If it's not on the channel yet, it's me figuring out if I still want to do it. And I would love y'all's feedback on that. And that will be on this channel. Where I discuss, you know, how much it, I made in my whole year's worth of 
making gaming content. Oh, sorry guys, I should have backed up a little bit. I didn't pay attention to the, the thing. I got too involved in my conversation with you guys. Reverse Toracat and... Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. We have a Hollow Hoopa. Hey, we're still pulling fire though. Every single pack has been, you know, a Hollow and Reverse Hollow. The reason being is because this is from the Pin Collection, guys. The Pin Collection is like a, a guaranteed fire every single pack. So, if you guys can find a Pin Collection in your stores, make sure you guys pick one up now as soon as possible i can't tell you guys enough like it is very important to pick one up whether you want to save it for later or whether you want to open the packs it is completely up to you but it's definitely worth it now where was i in the conversation i completely forgot <laughs> i just wanted to make sure you guys got the information about this the shining legends pin collection you're going to be pulling fire in those packs every single time so you're going to want to either hold them in your box uh, hold them in your box. Hold them in your collection, whether it's completely sealed, factory sealed from Walmart, or whether it be, and we have Latios, Hollow Latios, and Reverse Lightbird in your collection. We are down to the last three packs. We're going to go ahead and get into one more Shining Mew. We did get one Mewtwo GX, which I'm very, very proud of and happy that I got. We got one down. We just need to pull one Shining Mew. One Shining Mew. And that's it. That's all I ask. It's not, it's not crazy. It's not that crazy, okay? One, two, three, four. To the front and out the door. Whoo! Yeah, this is a lot of Pokemon cards right here, guys. But if you guys want to support the channel, make sure you just subscribe and let me know what packs you guys want me to open. We will be getting to Rebel Clash once I get all these videos uploaded. I've got like freaking 10, 15 videos that I need to upload that should last me a whole month worth of content for this month. So I need to get it out to you guys. Because I have some Dragon Ball content that is also in the uh, my hard drive. <laughs> Save it, it for you guys. Like it's it's I've definitely been grinding hard and getting as much content as possible. But every time I film these things, I have like three videos to do. And we have another Hollow Verizian. But every time I upload or get ready to upload these, I have gaming videos that I do on a daily basis. So here we go. Last two packs, guys. As I like to do at the end of the video, I like to ask you guys whether you want the choose the left booster pack as the, the golden ticket or the right one. Which one do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Today, we're going to go ahead and go with the left pack because I am left handed. That's the only reason why I like to pick the left side but uh we switch it up every once in a while but most of the time it is just for that reason of uh stuff it's just because i'm left in it and uh well it is what it is you guys should see the booster pack mess right next to me it is redonkulous we're starting off with a fairy energy and i'm busting a sweat right now because i'm right underneath the light and i'm trying to get you guys the best exposure to these cards as i possibly can and we're building a ginormous stack of pokemon common cards oh my goodness it's getting near but it's all good we got Torcat. and uh i keep mispronouncing that i don't know why ivasaur torkoal we have a reverse, I can't talk sometimes, Golurk, when I think too hard, I just can't do it, I can't do it, we have a hollow Reshiram, Reshiram, not too bad, alright Mew, don't fail me, you're the last pack for today's video, will I be happy with today's pull, yes, because we pulled one Mewtwo GX, but will I be even more excited if we pull a Shining Mew, well of course, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't be excited to pull a shining Mew in your last booster pack for the video? All right, all right, all right. Psychic Energy. And I really want to give a big shout out to all the Pokemon creators on YouTube because you guys are the ones that have gotten me back into Pokemon collecting. Without you guys, I definitely wouldn't have been getting into it and wouldn't feel comfortable with showcasing this stuff. And opening packs to you guys because it was something that I haven't done in a very long time and never really had motivation to do it. Never really had anybody like in high school who was interested in Pokemon stuff. So I never really did it and like the comic book stuff that I had to make myself do that on my own. But I built a huge collection in, in comic books. Now it's time to expand into Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh and all that stuff. And the thing about those types of things 
is there these cards are like 10 times smaller than comic books so they take a lot less space and for the final one we have a reverse ekans i do not feel confident that this is going to be what i want it to be but that it's all good we can still pull fire we can still pull fire <gasps> yeah <laughs> that's what i'm talking about zorark gx not the mew not the shining mew i should say but it is a gx zorark i absolutely love the color and the shading of it look at that ready for the oh oh that light shine oh look at the hollow absolutely incredible we already know what today's best pull was sorry zorark but uh mewtwo takes the cake on this one we are going to continue to try to build the biggest mewtwo and mew collection of all time that is the main goal for my pokemon collection guys i want to be put in the guinness world record book of biggest mewtwo and mew collection of all time that way it can stay forever and i'm going to continuously do those i will continuously grow that until i continue to be number one forever and ever anyways if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you like subscribe and favorite and share with a friend or two or three as always live free work hard and based on join me on my next upload for some pack openings or some dance content bye guys